Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Brian from Smart Tech Automation and Controls. Today we are going to learn about bit logic instructions, specifically set, reset, flip flop, how it works, as well as how it differs from reset, set, flip flop. If you wish to learn other bit logic instructions, there is a video for you, and its link is in the description below. I have opened my Step 7 Semantic Manager and uh, I'm going to make a ladder diagram with a set reset flip flop and also I'm going to make another one with a reset set flip flop. I'll begin by introducing a normally open contact. Then I'll introduce my set reset flip flop here. I'll click on it. It's here under the bit logic. You'll see the SR. That means the set reset flip flop. I'll drag it and put it there. Then I can then introduce a, a coil. To my other diagram, I'll introduce a normally open contact. Uh, then I'll introduce a reset set flip-flop and a coil. Then I'll give them addresses. We can give the title to this one and call it set, set reset. And the other one we can call it reset set. We are going to, to give the addresses to all our inputs as well as the outputs and also for the uh, for the set reset and reset set here I'm gonna give it address I 0, .0. Uh, then this one I can call it M 0.0, .0. And for our first output, we can call it Q4.0. For our second diagram, the input will be I0.1. This one will be M0.1. And for the output, it will be Q4.1. Then we have the reset signal for the set reset flip-flop. We call it I0.2. And the set signal for the reset set flip flop we call it i0.3 i'm going to simulate th uh, these two diagrams so that we can see how the two of them work as well as how they differ from each other i'm going to download my program to my plc uh, first I have to to switch on my to switch on my simulator that's my simulator uh, then I'll establish the I'll establish the connection between my program and the simulator so I'll go to options set pg stroke pc interface uh, then i click on plc sim dot mpi I can then go back to my program and download it. 
Uh, then I switch on my simulator. I put it on run mode. Then I, I switch on the monitoring mode. I'm going to introduce a set signal for the set reset flip-flop and see what happens. I'll put a signal on on this i0.0 and that will be 0. As you can see, whenever the set is high, the output becomes high. And even when you withdraw the, out the input, you can see the output is still high and it remains high until there is a transition at the reset input from a 0 to a 1. And so if I give a signal to our reset, then we'll, we'll no longer have an output. If I give a 2, then our output here changes from 1 to 0. For the reset set, our set signal is 3. And you can see when the set signal is, is 1, then we have an output. And even when you withdraw the input, the output is still high. And it remains high until the reset transitions from low to high. And you can see this when I, I give a signal to the reset. You can see there is, uh, there is no longer an output. Now, I want us to... Uh, for the set reset, uh, we we give a signal at the set and also at the reset, and we do the same for the reset set. Uh, I'll give a signal at zero. Then I give a signal at at two. I'll also give a signal at three. And then give a signal at one. As you can see, the main difference from set reset flip-flop uh, from the reset set flip-flop is that for the set reset flip-flop, it gives priority to the reset signal. Whereas for the reset set flip-flop, it always gives priority to the set signal. And that's how the two of them differ.